What's up, nerds? It's your boy, the OG GM. 2.30 in the afternoon here on uh, Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. It's about 60 degrees and super windy here at Site B, and it is time to announce the winners of the most anticipated tabletop role-playing game of the year 2023 what is the game everybody's all excited about if we remember last year's winner was blade runner and when it finally came out was there a whole bunch of pomp and circumstance over it no it's kind of like it's out we read it we like it yeah did they wait too long i don't know you know but anyways the industry has spoken from around the world people have said these are the top 10 we're most looking forward to now you'll notice i'm not going to say anywhere on the list dungeons and dragons and before you get all upset, this is tabletop role-playing games. Wizards of the Coast does not have any games announced for 2023. They have supplements, and they will be continuing to work on one D&D, but they have no game. This is tabletop role-playing game most anticipated games, actual game system, not supplements or expansions or rules or settings, Okay. So don't get upset at me because I don't say that game. Also, I should warn you and remind you, this is a monetized video. So if a commercial shows up, you know why. All right. Oh, so this is what we think the most anticipated role-playing game of 2023 is. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Number 10, the Monty Python role-playing game. I don't think so. Um, it could be good. But I think generally when you try to make Monty Python style games that are intentionally funny, they end up not working. Comedy only works because. I mean, you could cite Paranoia as a comedy game, but Paranoia, you know, could also be a very serious game with just sort of ridiculous elements. So number 10 is the Monty Python role playing game. Also, I still have yet to see whether the actual still living members of the team had anything to do with this or not. Number 10, that. Number 9, Old Gods of Appalachia from Monte, Monte Cook Games. This is the Appalachian Mountains set Eldrith Horror cipher system game. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's Monte Cook, so, you know, he comes out of the gate amazing. But then his follow-through, as we have seen, not so much. He did make two million on on Kickstarter, so apparently there is an audience out there for people who want to play a game about haunted Appalachian mountains in the past. Number eight, Warhammer 40k Imperium Maldictum Crucible Seven. This one is, is focused on investigation and social encounter and uses a D100 system. Combat is deadly. So, yeah, so it's secret missions and spies and stuff in the Warhammer 40k universe. Number eight, most anticipated role-playing game. Number seven, most anticipated role-playing game is Walking Dead Universe. Now that the ser series is over, this could be good if it explores the entire world of Walking Dead and offers us an explanation for where the virus came from uh, and explores more of the cultures and the various individuals of the universe instead of just giving us, you know a field guide to the walking dead tv show and the characters therein uh again i don't know if there's a market for this one i have a feeling i'm going to just dis dis disagree with a lot of the ones on this list i'm not you know it's free league but i'm not really that excited about it i think it's a little too late number six shadow of the red w weird wizard by schwab entertainment it's a it's a redesign of the Demon Lord system, and it's about a wizard who lives in a clockwork city and whose magic has transformed the lands. A family-friendly incarnation of Shadow of the Demon Lord. I'd never even heard of this one until just now, and again, not really. Wow, I'm going to disagree with almost every one of this on this list, I have a feel. Uh, maybe? I don't know. It just doesn't really feel like that to me. Number five, Mothership. I'm surprised this isn't, isn't one. Mother five. The, the, we know that the rules have been free for a while, and people have been uh, hacking this 
And yeah, Mothership Band. Uh, I'm surprised this isn't number one. This is my most anticipated role playing game of 2023, uh, based upon the amount of hacks and the amount of love Mothership has gotten over the past two years. So it's, you know, cold sci fi horror. It could be, you know, like aliens. It could just be normal sci fi with um, horrific elements. You know, the, the, the scariest thing of a science fiction space, you know, role playing game is space. And just, you know, there's this cold, dark, endless thing that wants to kill you, you know, that is space. Space is scary. Um, and obviously Mothership is a great game considering how many people have made hacks for it. So, yeah. Household is number four. You're, you play Littlings and you go on adventures in a house. So it's basically uh, the Borrowers. Made a half a million dollars on Kickstarter. It's about, you know, little teeny pixie people running around a house. And each part of the house is a nation unto itself. There's spiders and rants and centipedes. So if you're looking for a borrower's role-playing game, I don't remember even talking about this one. Or probably it came and went. And I went, yeah, I doubt that there's a market for this. So this is number four my most anticipated role-playing game for the of the year. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really think so. Wow. Uh, number three is the second edition of 13th Age. It was the most anticipated role-playing game of 2013. Ten years later, it's back with a new edition. lot of good ideas. I love the world of 13th Age. I love the ideas of the icons. I loved a lot of the stuff in it. But the actual game? I don't remember really being that exciting or everybody really being that, you know, about it. I read through it, and I was like, there are some great ideas in here, but the actual game, eh. It's a good source book for a campaign setting. Uh, wow, yep, I'm going to disagree with that one too. I don't really see that being that anticipated. I don't know, you know, which one of these games is going to step up and be the worthy contender to Wizards of the Coast in 2023? Other than Mothership and maybe uh, Cities Without Number, and I don't know if that counts as a game. I don't know, man. Number two is Dragon Bane. Uh, so yeah, they won last year's most anticipated role-playing game. This is the Swedish RPG, 40-year-old 40 year, 40 year RPG. It is the Swedish version of D&D, basically. Uh, it has a mirth and mayhem style of play. It's, you know, using the typical uh, free league system. You know, uh, considering how awesome... Uh, Forbidden Lands is, you know, map behind me. Um, yeah. Is that the... I would. I mean, it's Free League, so I put it on the list. I don't know if there's a big market for it. I've heard a lot of people say they're excited about it, so maybe there is. And number one, according to the industry, is Pendragon 6th Edition. Pendragon 6th Edition is the most anticipated role-playing game of 2023. Where you don't play characters, you play lineages. Campaigns can cross generations with players taking on the roles of their heirs of the previous characters. So there you have it. Pendragon 2023 is the most anticipated role-playing game of the year. Do you agree with that list? I think we can safely say, I don't. That's not my anticipated role-playing game, most anticipated role-playing game of the year. Uh, but it is, you know, from the people who bring us Call of Cthulhu... It is a game that has a lot of love behind it and a lot of lore and a lot of history. And, you know, people love King Arthur. Um, and let's face it, you know, Arthurian style fantasy is really big right now on TV with like The Witcher and stuff like that. So, yeah. I don't know, man. None of these feel like the game that's going to, you know, that's going to be the Pathfinder of 2023. The game that's going to be the number one contender for Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I would put Mothership definitely on the list. I would definitely put uh, uh, Dragonbane on the list. Um, Pendragon, well, now that I know, I didn't even know there was a new version of it coming out. I mean, yeah, Pendragon could do well. It doesn't have a fan base. But... Hmm. 
Do you agree with this list? Do you disagree with this list? What is your most anticipated tabletop role-playing game of 2023? Mine is Mothership. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been... The, the, like I said last year when we talked about this list, the trouble with this list is there are games that we don't know about yet. You know, something could come out in May that could just be a surprise contender and people would be like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this game all along and just blow every other game out of the market. I mean, nobody expected Pathfinder to be as big as it was when it came out, you know, and competed with fourth edition. But then of course there's a lot of other factors, but you know, uh, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how 2023 evolves because this is going to be a very important year for the gaming industry as we look towards our you know shining star that is wizards of the coast and the direction they're going to be taking dungeons and dragons and how the industry is going to respond and who's going to step up to be the worthy competitor to sixth edition that will be the experiment so you know it's going to be an interesting year but what again what was your most anticipated Tabletop role playing game of 2023. Do you agree with this list? Are you like me and you disagree with this list? Do you even care? Uh, yeah, I'm the OGGM. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Please support me. Buy my merch. And I will talk to you later. Where are the lights off? <laughs>